this this was in the making for years. We've been like super bestie friends for a long time, and I've been looking forward to this for so long. And it's just I knew that we would not only get along famously on set, which we did because we did. We spent more time laughing than we took pictures. <laughs> we took a lot of pictures, eleven hundred fucking pictures. But this was just fucking incredible, like the stuff that we have in common, and you know that. So I, trust me. The photos are fucking incredible. Amazingly incredible. I can't wait to see them. And for those of you who don't know already, you know, who you know live on Pluto or something, <laughs> this is, you know, world famous locally, my favorite bestie, Kenna James. Hello. And, you know, <laughs> I'd like to actually take this opportunity to kind of like delve into a little bit more about you personally, because I'm sure you've shot interviews on BTS before, but like, like we're not on like, you know, next level, like, you know, interconnected, <laughs> you know, like, you know, girls scissoring fucking, you know. Yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> So uh, tell us, how did you originally get into the business? So I guess I'll take you back to 18 when I started stripping. Nice. Um, I was in high school, okay. lived on my own, and had to pay bills. Nice. So well, I... Like, were you sort of racy in the bedroom before? Were you adventurous before you decided to dance? Um, in some ways. I'd always been really kind of reserved, but I guess I was always a freak in my own way. Really? Okay, um, so you define that, that you were a freak in your own way. So, behind closed doors, the yeah. shit I would do is really? not the kind of things you would think when you met me and talked to yeah. me. Yeah. So, <laughs> lady in the streets, freak in the sheets. Nice. Kind okay. of thing. You got comfortable enough that you figured you'd give it a try. Do you remember your first audition? I remember walking into the building and I was like, hey, I would I, I would love to uh, to audition. They're like, have you ever danced before? I'm like, no. Um, and he goes, okay, that's fine. Uh, what did you bring to strip in? And at this point, I don't wear bras. I don't wear underwear in my personal life. Yep. So I'm just like, commando. I'm like, I got I brought, this. I got my butt plug. You know, I I'm like, <laughs> I got this. Yeah. And he goes, so he, we go in the back. He asks one of the girls. Uh, her name was Phoenix. Okay. Uh, and he goes, do you have anything, you know, that she could wear for an audition? She goes, sure. So she hands me something. And, I, and then she finger blasted you. No, 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 no. That was later. No. Yeah. See? See? Freaking the sheet. Yeah. But I remember I was so nervous, like, because I'd never done anything quite like that. I've never never done anything. That's what a girl says before she does double You got up on stage. Got up on stage, and I killed it. Like, I didn't try to do more than what I knew how. I felt the music, and I just did it. Yeah. And he looks at me afterwards, and I was like, how was it? And he goes, can you start tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've so seen your lady bits. And like, <laughs> you know how to, like, kind of bump and grind. Can you uh, come over here and let me, let me get a lap dance and make sure I know how to do that. Right oh, here. let me tell you my first lap dance story. Yes. It was not great. Yes. So there was this guy that came into the club all the time. Right. Um, a really nice guy, a regular of one of the other girls. Sure. And he goes, you're cute. You look kind of like the girl I like, so yes. let's go get a dance. Nice. I had no idea how to give a lap dance. Really? So, say he's sitting probably over there. Okay. About where you're sitting. Okay. Give okay. or take. Right, right, right. I'm over here. Right. Against the door. Right. Dancing. And you did an air dance. I did, did an, an air, air dance. dance. Didn't even get near him. Didn't, didn't touch even, him, didn't do nothing. Didn't, didn't do any, like, you know, fucking butt grinding. Nope. Titties nope. in the face. Nothing. None of that shit. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> so I knew I didn't do it right. Right. Um, I went to the... It was like giving you a funny look like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> so I go to the manager afterwards and I'm like, hey, how do you give a lap dance? Right. <laughs> he nice. looks at me and goes, uh -uh. Are you serious? <laughs> so he gets one of the other girls and she owes money to the house. Right. Um, and he goes, I'll tell you what, you give her a lap dance, I'll take money off of what you owe. Nice. So he had her give me I, a I lap dance. I'm, I'm gonna give him a thumbs up on that. I'm gonna give a fucking fist pump right here. Damn. Yes. <laughs> yes, I tell you what, I'm gonna do you a favor and I'm gonna have her sit on your face and then you tell me, you know, if you get the idea how to eat some pussy. Pretty much. So she taught me this neat little thing, um, which I still implement today. Is... So the guy's sitting here, you know, like this, yes. spread your legs, right. and you put your head right here, and your yeah. shoulders on here, and then you kick up, and you put yeah. your butt right in their and face. You put their butt right there. Right, right in their face. face. Yeah. And they love it. Yes. So That's... learned how to give a lap dance by a chick giving me a lap dance because I was we terrible. We call the uh, gyno inspection section. You know it was. Right? Yeah, Sometimes yeah. Sometimes I call that the erection section. Too. The erection but, section. But you know, it's you the know. same thing. They're interchangeable. You know? <laughs> so okay, so. You decided I'm gonna 
Do porn? No, what, what happened? I decided I was going to webcam. I bet you did. I did. I, I actually knew the answer to this question, by the way. But I, just, <laughs> I did that for your guys' benefit because, you know, I'm, I'm like, I got you like that. You know I, mean? got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. He's you know? got you, guys. Okay. So you started to webcam and you did that on a, on a LARP. You just decided... Yeah. Well, it'd be kind of fun to masturbate and I would get off because other people were watching me masturbate or what? Not really. So I ended up moving to a different club. Yes. Um, and it wasn't as great as the club I had oh, left. Oh, that sucks. It was one of those that more sold reality than fantasy. Uh, that's not so, good. so, you know, it doesn't matter how hot you are in that situation. Right. You're going to get yeah, kind of booted out right. after some time. So I was like, I'm sick. Of not making any money yeah. and spending my money on drinks. Yes. So doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. Oh. And all of a sudden, you know, I was making money again. I yes. was like, this is great. And I get to stay home yes. and like do whatever I want to do Fuck in yes. my bed yes. or on my kitchen counter. With, you know, and now, at that point, you were only doing it with yourself, right? Yep, just me. How did you make the jump between I'll be here by myself on my camera to full blown, you know, I'm doing like. DPs and Go lick some badge and suck years. some dick and yeah, all that right, stuff. All that stuff right? I, uh, I, my agent at the time, right. uh, hit me up on cam nice. uh, before he was my agent. He goes, hey, have you ever thought about doing this? And of yeah. course, I read the message. I went, this isn't real. Right. <laughs> you know. A lot, a lot, a lot of whatever. people have said that over the years, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, everybody comes to you and they're like, oh, I make movies. And it's like, do you though? So I ended up, uh, I came out for the very first time uh -huh. to LA. Nice. After getting all my stuff figured out, and I was like, yeah, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Nice. And I only want to do solo nice. for my first week. Great. See if I like it. Yes. I shot with a couple different companies. Great. Ended up loving it, and that's why I'm did. here seven years later. Got your fucking inner freak out there. And just like... You know, everyone saw me with all the girls for two and a half years. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look at this little sweetheart. And then I was like, dick, anal, DP, trans. Okay, so, so, it. so now you started out being, so for you guys that don't know, she started out just doing girl, girl movies. No. And then she decided to sort of make the jump into the deep end and, you know, uh, show us the freak in the sheets in private that she's, in you know in public now so it's in speak. public <laughs> everybody's like god damn that girl's like a super freak you know what i mean yeah like, she likes ass to mouth and ass to pussy i like and, you when know. you choke oh, i like when you smack yeah. me i like when you lead me on a leash you nice. know i like all the stuffs now when you think back to all the way back to the very first time you had sex right was that with a boy or a girl a girl gee yeah i i knew the answer to that too. yeah he did now, yeah. I, was that her idea or your idea? Um, it was her idea, but she didn't have to coax me too hard. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, can I just slide your face into the sunset? And it like, kind of oh, went okay. more, she was like, I want to try something. Yeah. I was like, okay. okay. And she goes, take your pants off. Yeah. She fucking finger blasted the shit out of you and fucking got your face all fucking off. Now, how soon was it before you went downtown on her? I uh, that, that night. Same thing. So you, after Oops. after she did that, she was, you were like, wait a minute. It was all like she goes, okay, I'm gonna try this, and then I want you to do this to me. And I was like, yeah, let's try it. I'm in. I'm down. Remember this, guys. You want to try that? Okay, hey, that was actually pretty good. Let me try that on you. Bam. 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 Done. Bam. Done. And then I was like, hey, what if we just like open everything up and we just like mush them together? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Okay. I loved it. <laughs> so you 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 were with her for a little while then. Um, not, not, this wasn't like a little fling? Oh no, it was a fling. Oh, really? You never saw her again? Uh, she actually lived down the road, but no, not really. So you never finger blasted her again? No. Damn, why not? You were shy? No, you not know? really. It just kind of like, it was that one deal, and yeah. then she was just like, okay, done, good. Oh, so she was more experimenting, and yeah. then you were like, she was a little more experienced than I was. Like, Damn it, I want some of that shit. Like, hey, I know, I'm like, I want more. Pussy, right? You started on something, so then I started like, Friends. You started banging on the friends. I did. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so if you were doing the friends scissoring thing, and you're like having oh, a yeah. sleepover, and you're like, hey, why don't we practice for when we're with boys? Let's just so practice. Just practice yeah. so we know. Eventually, you found the right dick, and you gave it I a did. try. I did. Now, I did. How was the first time? Sometimes people say the first time ain't so good, but you know. My first time was amazing. Yeah, I, that's what I'm talking about. I really enjoyed it. He yeah. kind of, we both kind of watched porn, you know. Oh, so, like, yeah, eh, we had an You're idea. Right there. See, you know? You learn shit from porn. You that's right, learn you learned shit it. from porn. It's, and it's, it's uh, let, let me start by saying this too. 
not everything you see in porn is what you should do in the bedroom. That's true. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some of that shit just is uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Nobody but, <laughs> wants to do an upside down backbending BJ. But as far as like, you know, just like watching how girls do techniques yeah. and like get into it and all that shit, yeah, you're just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's not that hard. You gotta get up there and, you know, you, mean, you can't be a, if you're gonna give a BJ girls, don't be a tip nibbler. Don't be a tip nibbler. Don't be a tip nibbler. You be a cut gobbler. Yeah, you take you, it down you as much as you can. Throw, you gotta do the double fucking hooker. Yeah, you're just like, <laughs> see, see, see. <laughs> You can tell she knows how to suck a dick. You know, <laughs> I love sucking dick. I love sucking dick. Right. But, um, yeah, so I found the right dick. Um, it was a boyfriend at the time. Nice, nice, nice. And we took each other's virginities. Awesome. It was awesome. What do you, like, what's Kenna's ideal pairing? Is it two boys and Kenna? Is it a boy and a girl and Kenna? Is it two girls and Kenna? What is it and why? Uh, ideally for me, it's a boy and a girl. Because I like both worlds. That's what I'm talking about right there. Don't get, don't get I mean, fucking. don't get me wrong. See? See? Two dicks, awesome. Yes. Two pussies, awesome. Yes. But Dick and a pussy, yeah, ideal. Best of, best of both worlds. Best right? of both worlds. Your face can be buried in a Like she can sit on my face while I'm getting rammed. Man. It's great. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. And like, what is more romantic than tasting another girl's juices off the dick and then nothing flip like that's nothing that's like that's that's chemistry right or just there. like when he's fucking you and then he goes to her yeah. and then you or you're gonna stack and it's just back and forth yeah. you guys are fucking eskimo sisters after that hell that's yeah that's we are I'm talking about hell yeah we are eskimo sisters <laughs> anal had you tried anal in your personal life yes i had and you're was it like good bad you're still kind of working on it like what was the thing i was still kind of working on it for a while I tried it with the boyfriend right 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 um and it went successful okay enjoyed okay, okay. it uh it was not a bad first experience with anal okay, okay. um you know we we had some missed trials later with some yeah but it happens yeah, it, yeah. some days ain't just the day yeah it's a process yeah. and some days it just says no yeah. and you're like all right yeah. not today yeah. you know yeah. but uh overall anal is fucking awesome nice now maybe explain to a girl why it is different and how they should be more open to giving it a try. An anal orgasm is a mind blowing. Uh, I did not know you could come like that from your ass. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's did not know that. That's a sales <laughs> technique right there. That's a sales <laughs> technique. Okay. It's like this really, it's an intense pleasure. It rides that line between pain and pleasure for me. Nice. And that for me is just like, uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, so give it a try. And I mean, honestly, take it slow, take it easy, stretch yeah. your butt. Communication. Communication. Lubrication. Lubrication. Yes. <laughs> all the cations. Yes. yes. <laughs> all the cations are important, but stretch. Yeah. You know, get yourself ready. Don't just like, and don't let him just like. Yeah. That's not romantic. That's you not romantic. For the rest of us. Low and Come slow. On. Low and slow. That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. take it easy. Now, <laughs> one of the things that I happen to know about Ken is that you know she's not just you know a, a a pretty lady that likes to do girly stuff she's actually you know a girl that likes to get out there and do a lot of the guy stuff that we kind of you know take for you know like oh she might not be in a, like guns for an example love guns yeah love guns. in fact you have a custom I, lock I do. you know i mean with your initials. with my insignia yeah. like my serial number on yeah. it it's fucking like kenna's 19. that's what i'm like Great. I love guns. Now, had you been raised around guns? I have. And did you go out in the woods and go shooting, you know, mm -hmm. even with relatives and stuff like a lot? Yeah, we actually had a uh, an annual gun festival. Hey. Just like in the middle of a field. Yes. Good. You got some cousins you're going to introduce me to because I'm ready. You know what I mean? You don't want to meet my cousins. Okay. Now, also along that line, you like doing like, you know, more uh, sort of off roady stuff like, you know, off road trucks and, you know, like, ATVs and stuff Money like that. festivals. All wow. Of it. I love it. I love mud parks. I like getting dirty. I like getting in it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Like there's a, a monster truck thing. They have a, a big old monster truck run through the mud, yeah. the mud runs. Yeah. And then after they're all done, they have the, all the girls. They're like, if you want it, you can get in the mud and you try to run down there. And that thing is so slick. I did oh, not realize it. <laughs> but you get a hundred bucks if you get there first at the wow, end of the thing. Oh, really? Now, um, where is the freakiest place off camera now? We're talking about off camera, right? That you've had sex over the years that people are like, oh man, that's a good one, right? I remember you said something about. Uh, I did a nightclub. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, not that big of a freak usually. Like sometimes it's. 
Uh, but yeah, in a nightclub in a VIP booth, we didn't make it to the bathroom. Wow, bathroom. that's fucking great. And then also, there was something about a relative's house. What was that again? Oh, yeah, in my grandma's house. Yeah, grandma's house. I was going to tell you about it. Give you another that. Grandma's day. house in my okay. room there. Yeah. I remember my grandpa walked in one time. Yeah. Um, thankfully, we were on the other side of the bed. Wow. Uh, and he goes, dinner's ready and I was like I'm dinner. sitting on him and like there's no way we can cover up fast enough if he decides to walk yeah, around yeah, that bed yeah. part of me thinks he knows what was happening right. and he goes see you in a minute shuts the door and I'm just like wow. <laughs> that's a fucking good story right there wow so yeah you know <laughs> okay so he did that I'm doing it now uh, looking forward now I bet there's some places that's on Kenna's bucket list of, I can't believe I haven't had sex in this place yet, but I want to. What would those be? I want a picnic setting in a park. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's you what I want. Open up that piston basket and you're going to pull out some dildos and some lube. Oh, no. I'm going to pull out food and oh, we're going to get fucking yeah. messy. Oh, shit. Oh, you're into that. Wow. Now, and, and what about, you said, you said something about airplanes, too. Last time we talked. Oh, yeah. I want to fuck in an airplane bathroom. That's what I'm talking about. I want to fuck in an airplane bathroom. That's been on my bucket list for a while, but now I kind of elevated because I have a buddy with a private plane. Oh, yeah. See, and, so that's and like. And was like, oh, no problem. Dude, we'll just take the middle seats out, and then you, I'll just forget. You can just go do your thing on that. I'm like, I'm in. I'm going to bring my fucking kids. Done. I'm, I'm so fucking in, man. And all that. I want to catch that. You know? Hell, yeah. I want to do it with a plane full of people. Yeah. I want to do it on like, I don't even care if it's an international okay. flight. It can be across the country. You want to show off your skills. I just want to like, I don't even care if it's a cramped bathroom. Put my head on the toilet. Nice. I don't care. Uh, do you have any pets? I do. I have three cats. Three putties. Well, actually four if you count the one down there. So got this putty too. Four putties. I got three putties. Three, three putties that are three. Three. I have one hairless and three hair. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now. Were you raised around pets when you were younger? I was. I was raised around dogs and cats, so I always had a passion. I actually was in pre-med for uh, veterinary medicine before I got into the industry. Oh, okay. So. And what made you um, more akin to cats as opposed to dogs? You know, because some people are good dog people, some people are cat people. You know, honestly, I I wouldn't call myself one way or the other. Um, so I am I am equally an all animal thing. You like like critters. I want otters. I want raccoons. That's I want foxes. Funny. I saw those on fucking TikTok. Right. They're so fucking cute. So cute. And you're like, oh, you're like, oh my, my god, god, I need it. I gotta have one. Of those. I love watching them eat. They're like. Yep. I'm like, ah, oh. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. So like okay. all across the board, an animal lover. What is on the horizon for you next that you're looking forward to doing, but haven't done yet on film? I would love to do a boy, boy, girl, bye scene. Oh, okay. So yeah, so in other words, they, uh, the fellows are going to play with them, each other, not just you. Exactly. And so it's going to be more than just a DP on her. Yeah, everybody, yeah, gets, yeah, some everybody gets some love. Yes, I can. And now, have you have you done um, scenes with? You, I know you said you have done some trans scenes before. And mm -hmm. Have you done scenes with, uh, uh, or, or I should make, I should say more off camera? Have you played with fellas that were by? And is that the reason why you want to try it? Or did, like you had watched it and you're like, oh, that's hot. I want to do that on film. Is that? Uh, so I'm actually really into gay porn. Really? <laughs> and you know, she's not the only person that I've met. No. That's a gal that has said so that. many girls. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and tell you so many girls are into gay porn. It's yes. so hot. Well, because the guys are really good looking and they're, you know, doing their thing. And yeah. it's, you know, kind that's of, attractive. You know, yeah, I like it. So I just want to be thrown into that mix. The same reason why I really, really like watching two girls. Exactly. It's, I, even though we don't have the same plumbing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah same I thing. Gotta, yeah, Different parts. <laughs> you get down with your bad self. Hell okay, yeah. So. so I just want to be in that mix with them because it looks like fun. <laughs> uh, now, have you ridden motorcycles before? Because I, I saw that you were very comfortable laying in various positions all over this fancy... Uh, you know, a sponsored award-winning bike of mine. Yeah, I actually kind of grew up around bikes. My dad rode, um, so I was always on the back. He taught me how to ride a little. Yeah. My brother rode, so yeah, I just kind of grew up around them. I'm comfortable with them. I prefer my sports bikes, I think, over. Nice. But I, there's sure. something also really hot about like bending over and just being laying down your ass out in the air and yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, now, some of you folks don't know, but actually Kenna does feature dance as well, which means that you should keep a lookout for her at, you know, your favorite city near you at your favorite gentleman's club, and tell us a little bit about how you got into feature dancing and sort of maybe the difference between what it was like when you were house dancing and being a house girl as opposed to a feature that you are now. Isn't it better to be able to interact with your fans and, you know, go to different clubs all the time and stuff? Tell us a little bit about that. It is. So the, the thing I like most about featuring over being a house girl, house girl, you're at one club all the time. You know, you've got your regulars, maybe, sure, if you've sure. gotten them. Sure. Um, and it just, it gets so monotonous, so repetitive, and it's, you, you get bored. Sure. So with featuring, I've literally traveled the entire country. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, it is. I and love it. it's different. It's never the same. It's never you know the same mean? place twice. Yeah. You know, you never meet the same people. You never yeah. meet the same club owners. You yeah. never, you know, dance on the same stages. And it's just every experience is different. Yeah. And getting to interact that personally with my fans is really cool because, I mean, they're the reason I am here. Yeah. So to be able to give back to them and actually meet them and thank them, and it's great. I love that. Now, where can we see more of you? So Twitter is at KennaJames21. Uh, yes. Instagram is at RealKennaJames. Got it. OnlyFans is at KennaJamesX. Nice. <laughs> and then occasionally I cam on my free cams. Awesome. You know, or you can Google me. I'm everywhere. Fuck, I cannot wait. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to go Google her right now. <laughs> no, so, okay, so, but seriously, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely amazing photos. Absolutely, even more an amazing person. You, you got to check her out. Amazing interview. Can't wait to shoot her the next time. I can't wait to hang out with her next time. I can't mm -hmm. wait to take her a rave. Trust me. Yes. Fuck. I'm gonna definitely gonna That's going to be so that, much right? fun. The amazing Kenna James. Thank you, guys. Bye. I love you all. Bye.